I'm Brandy, trainer at Tax Slayer Pro Support. Let's talk about the business package in our Tax Slayer Pro 2021 edition. We usually release the business program for the year in December, and you'll see a message in the message center when the business program is ready to download and install. To install the business program, on your main menu, come to Updates. Number one, Download Install Updates. You'll click on the Business tab here at the top. Select the federal and any state and click Download. When the program has finished downloading and installing, you'll be able to click Exit. I've already got the business package installed, so let's go take a look at it. You'll access the business program from the quick menu at number four. And the business program is its own entity within the Tax Slayer Pro desktop software. So everything that is on the 1040 side of the software exists on its own in the business main menu. At the top here, you have all of the available entities that you can prepare. The business program has its own electronic filing menu with its own transmission table for business returns and its own transmission table for electronic extensions and estimates. So when you need to transmit your completed business returns, you'll come to the business e-file main menu and do that here at number one or your extensions at number four. Receiving acknowledgments is also at number two. Just like on the individual side, you'll click connect to connect to our server and download any acknowledgments. The reports for business returns are separate as well. You'll click into number three here to access your reports. The print menu for the business program is also separate from the one that you set in the individual side. You can print business returns here or print an organizer for your business return clients. Client status for your business returns is here at number 11. It has the same features as client status for the individual returns, an ax tab, the state and state ax tabs, all of the information about your transmitted returns is here at entity status. And extension status has its own separate window as well. To view the forms of a business return that you've transmitted, go to number 13. I also want to point out that the business utilities menu is the same as the one on the 1040 side, but it controls your business program. So you can back up your business returns here, repair your pick list, remove a business client from your business client list. The mailing labels for your business clients are here in business utilities. You can change a C Corp to an S Corp return here. That concludes our quick tour of the business menu and its features. For more in-depth information about the business program, submenus, and features, you can click on KB Search. Of course, you can search for exactly what you're looking for in the search box or slide down to the help categories where we have a category set up for the business program. The business section of the knowledge base is well stocked with articles to help you with everything from menu navigation to entering certain items on a business entity return.